Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have once again confirmed another Windows update issue. And this time it's for some Windows 10 users where the audio might stop working after installing the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out near the end of last month, July 2022, which was optional update KB5015878 or any later updates. So that would also mean um, as an example, the Patch Tuesday update, which rolled out for Windows 10 earlier this month uh, for August 2022, KB5016616. So after installing 5015878 or any later updates, um, Microsoft says that some affected Windows devices might have no audio. Other devices might only have issues on certain ports, certain audio devices, or only within certain apps. And it's interesting to note that they mention that most affected audio device drivers have the audio enhancements setting disabled before installing um, the updates. So um, the issue is mainly affecting devices where the audio, audio enhancement setting was disabled before installing any of those updates. Now Microsoft mentions that if you have not yet installed the update and those updates, there are one or two things you can do to prevent the issue. Um, obviously updating your audio device driver and your sound card drivers um, could prevent the issue. And if you are using any advanced audio applications, as an example, um, OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, they'd recommend that you back up all your settings um, before installing any of those updates. Now, if unfortunately you do find yourself affected um, by this issue where you are experiencing audio issues on your Windows 10 operating system after installing any of those updates, then um, they recommend that you run the Windows um, sound and audio troubleshooter. So just head to Windows Update, click on Troubleshoot, Additional Troubleshooters, and yeah, plain audio, find and fix problems with plain sound. Run the sound and audio troubleshooter and that may resolve the issue. And if it still doesn't resolve the issue, Microsoft says, then you need to disable any audio enhancements that might be turned on um, on your operating system. So to do that, we head to the System menu, Sound, and yes, sound output, click on device properties. Under related settings, additional device properties. And this will open up the legacy control panel, uh, uh, speaker properties. And here you get your enhancements. So if you have any enhancements enabled, like I do as an example, equalizer, just turn any enhancements off. And that would also mean spatial sound. So turn off any enhancements and that could um, um, resolve and sort the issue out until Microsoft does roll out a permanent fix. Now it's interesting to note that they also mentioned that they have um, are using the known issue rollback uh, which will prevent the issue on Windows devices which have not yet installed 5015878 or any later updates and the known issue rollback will have no effect on devices already affected by this known issue. So that's also interesting because normally it's the other way around. They um, make the known issue rollbacks available on affected devices and this time they're making the known issue rollback available on devices which have not yet installed any of those updates. Now in case you don't know what a known issue rollback is, um, just quickly, uh, it's something Microsoft does from their side and um, they do it behind the scenes so to speak and you don't have to worry about installing any updates. And as always with a known issue rollback, um, it could take up to 24 hours and if you want to speed up the process you can just restart your device if you haven't restarted your device in a couple of days and what i suggest though um, is also just uninstall those updates um, if you are experiencing the uh, experiencing this issue and then obviously just pause your updates so they don't reinstall and then that's until microsoft does roll out a fix and this is affecting windows 10 uh, versions 21h2 21h1 and 20h2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.